Hey guys, Shock here from Shock e Check it. In today's video, we have a brand new update for many Samsung Galaxy smartphones. This update is for a powerful Samsung application for your camera, your photos, and videos. So let's have it and see what's going on. So this update actually has to do with the Galaxy Enhance X application, which is an AI application designed to enhance photos and videos after you take them. So we do have a brand new update. Now to get the update or to install this application, click the link down below. Once you click the link, you are gonna be at my website and then simply scroll down a little bit and tap on the link right here. It's gonna take you to the Galaxy Store and you can see we have an update. Now this update has been dated for October the 7th. It is almost 200 megabytes. The version is gonna be 2.1.25. Now when I go back over here, you can see under what's new, we do have a brand new option known as the motion clipper. I'm gonna show you what that is. We also have the camera shift enhancement. So the camera shift option is now better than ever. And it looks like we also have the Enhance X compatibility with Samsung Galaxy tablets. And then we have basic DeX models. Let me show you what's going on over here. So before I update, I'm gonna launch the application, okay? So when you launch the application, it's gonna ask you to select a picture or video. When you click it, it'll take you to your gallery. You go into any application and you select the photo that you want. Once you select the photo, at the bottom, you have a bunch of buttons that allow you to add effects to existing photos, okay? The new features are gonna show up right here. It's gonna be under this one and under this one right here. You'll see we only have three options. After the update, it's gonna be four options. So let's do the update right now. I'm gonna cancel this. I'm gonna update this, all right? So now when I launch the updated application, we're gonna go inside and we're gonna select the photo. Let me show you what's new with the camera shift feature. So if I go to my gallery, I'm gonna go over here, select the photo where I have somebody in full. So you want somebody that is completely visible from toe to the head, okay? So when I go over here, you are gonna see actually First and foremost, it recommends all the available options right here under this menu. So whatever is available shows up right here. But in this case, I'm gonna go over here and I wanna show you guys the camera shift. So camera shift allows you to change your photo so it looks better, it can extend your legs, it can extend your torso and your face. So for example, right over here, this is the before, this is the usual shot, and this is the after, okay? So you can see there was a slight change. Now if I increase the intensity, you can see it's making my body slimmer and makes me look a little bit taller. The legs are a little bit taller and all that stuff. So again, this is before, this is after. I can also do the reverse. I can go all the way down here, okay? And now look at this, this is before, now I'm actually a little bit shorter, okay? Which in this case actually is better because the camera, the original photo, the camera, for some reason, extended my legs. So when I go over here, that to me looks a little bit more realistic. And then I can done and save that photo by tapping save. Now, the camera shift has been enhanced and now you can apply it to your pets as well. So I don't have any pets, I don't have any photos to show you guys, but you get the idea. You can do the same thing to your pets and it doesn't have to be obviously standing like this. It could be laying like this, like a cat or a dog, and you can make these modifications. You can play and you can see what's going on. So that's that. Number two is the motion clipper. Well, number one, but I'm gonna show that to you now. So if I go over here with the motion clipper, you have to pick a motion photo and you can quickly convert that motion photo into a GIF. Now, when I say motion photo, when you go to your camera, this option here has to be enabled. That is the motion photo. It's not gonna be enabled right now because the lens is sitting on the table, but if you tap it, it enables it and you are able to take a motion photo. So here's an example of a motion photo right here, okay? And then what's gonna happen is, again, anything that's available is gonna show up right here. And you can see the new motion clipper option. So that's also over here. If I go over here, I can see the motion clipper. Now if I tap on the motion clipper, it's gonna take that photo, that live motion photo, 
and it's going to convert that into a GIF image. Okay, now after the effects are applied, first you'll see a quick preview of the actual motion photo that's going to come up right here. That's the actual motion photo. Then it's going to pause and it's going to ask you to tap a highlighted subject to clip only that subject. So I can tap on this one, it's going to highlight that, and now I can turn this into a GIF all by itself. Look at this. I'm going to tap on preview clip right here, and I'm able to convert what I have into this motion photo that looks like a 3D photo. Now, this is not a good example, but again, you get the idea. If you take a nice motion photo, you can turn that into something like this, a 3D image. You can change the size and FPS. As you can see, you can lower the resolution or increase it. You can have the FPS at 15 or 30. It is gonna be a GIF. Tap on done. It's gonna transform it. So now when I tap on save clip, it's going to save that into my gallery. If I do go to my gallery, you'll notice it is right over here. Okay. So that's what it was originally. That's the motion photo. And that's what it turned into after my uh, edit. Okay. It looks like a 3D model, to be honest. So that's that. Now when I go back over here, uh, you can see that we have the tab. Samsung Galaxy tab models can now use Enhance X in landscape models and if you do access the Galaxy Enhance X with Samsung DeX you are going to be able to access some basic models so that's that fantastic update any questions comments or concerns drop them down below let me know for now guys have a fantastic day